All right, everybody. So I'm here with Cam Boyd, one of my best friends. Cam actually originally had reached out to me via Instagram and wanting me to give him some swim lessons and uh, learn how to swim because at the time he was considering uh, going out for SEAL training. I said, all right, we met up at the pool and I was like, all right, let me see where you're at. And he couldn't make it from one end of the pool to the other. <laughs> and I was like, Cam, I was like, hey man, I'm just going to be real with you. I don't think, uh, I don't think you got what it takes to complete SEAL training. You know what I mean? Saying if, if this is where you're at, you got a really long way to go. You know, it's kind of a waste of money, honestly, to keep doing these lessons. You know, he was determined. He was sending me videos of him practicing what we had gone over just in that first lesson on his own. He showed me that effort and I was like impressed by it. You know, I gave it to him very bluntly, you know, just said, Roger that, I'm going to keep working. And I was impressed by that. So I told him, you know, forget it. I'll just train you for free. Kept meeting up, kept practicing and training and he was working hard on his own and then um shortly shit a couple months later swimming just as fast as me and i was blown away you know outside of that just hit it off great guy you know we've been friends ever since changed his mind on the seal route and ended up joining the norfolk police and then really got into the dog draco and getting into dog training and stuff like that super passionate about that and um, was thinking about starting his own business training dog you know i encouraged him to follow that here we are a couple years later canineaholics founder and ceo got a whole team working with them and they're excellent dog trainers and uh so if you're in the area hit up canineaholics and get some good training in let's see what you guys got you Draco, you could be getting love but you're not any uh, 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 no she's only 12 weeks old man. love is all black face <laughs> All right, so what we're doing um, is Monday through Friday, um, we train as a group. Um, all the trainers meet up, we train together, we troubleshoot, um, we go over the programs. Um, we try to train at different locations. It's really good for the dogs, especially um, when they go home. I want them to be comfortable in all different types of environments. Um, so today we're training at Massive. Mitch has a cool field in the back, um, a field the dogs have never seen before. And now we're going to go into Mitch's facility, do some work with the dogs, kind of going in while Keli is ordering some greens um, and seeing if the dog can remain calm. Therefore, when the dog goes home, um, back with mom and dad, the dog they can take the dog to a store or Home Depot or Lowe's and the dog can and control themselves. So that's what we're doing right now. So Mitch is about to suit up here. Yep, we're about to suit it and boot it. Is it a one size fit all? No. no. Oh. A little bit snug on me. And these suits get sweaty and filled with odor. <laughs> Do you smell anything? Oh yeah. <laughs> a little musty. Feels a lot Nothing the shower can't fix. That guy in a little <laughs> coat. <laughs> Richard, you make me so happy. <laughs> Draco's getting excited. He can smell. He can smell the soup. Let's roll. Here we go. You'll take off and then just start running and just swim your, your tricep. Yep. Compared to the, the suits we wore in the military, this is this is Gucci. So you didn't shower for four months? Yeah. What's that like? Do you get like you, you shit living on you and stuff? You adapt just like anything else, you know? I was uh, working as a decoy um, and we were doing a vehicle interdiction and uh, so I was, you know, in the vehicle and they had sent the dog into the vehicle to, to bite me. Dog had bit onto my tricep. They target usually, especially if you present it. We don't want the dogs to disengage. We would prefer the dogs just stay locked on their bite. Well, this dog ha just happened to disengage and re-engage down by my forearm, started to go closer to my hand. Obviously, I'm not wearing gloves. And uh, so I shucked the dog off of me and it re-engaged into my leg. Then it re-engaged again, lower, lower, and then eventually bit down on my foot. And uh, that's what we call a real bite to let the trainers know, you know, I'm dealing with a real bite and to pull the dog off. But uh, there was a helicopter hovering in front of the car. The trainer couldn't really hear me saying real bite. <laughs> and uh, it ended up breaking my toe. So now when I flex my toes, my index toes stay straight. Oh 
Draco bites hard. <laughs> that was Draco. That is my personal dog. He's four years old. Um, we'll probably be doing a sport called PSA soon. Actually, we're competing in September at uh, State Line K9's um, trial with Shannon, uh, Janet and Sean. Um, so that is Draco. The biggest key with dog training is consistency. All right there, yeah, it looks, it looks super swollen yeah, right mosquito there. Must have been Damn, there. Draco got me good. Mosquito must Look have got you. Look how swollen it is. <laughs> 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 Do that to piss him off a little bit. <laughs> Do that, leave him wanting more. He's pissed, he wants to bite that sleeve. You know, they enjoy it and then you praise him. And, and that's why when I'm catching the dog and decoying, I'm giving it that uh, auto, auditory feedback, you know, ow, 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 because that's what it would be like real world, you know? And we, we don't want that to discourage the dogs from, you know, biting or disengaging. We want them to be super familiar with it and you know all of it is is a fun game to them and you reward them and praise them for for doing it this is Kila's puppy he's 11 weeks old um so we're just gonna test the dog's hunt and drive a little bit um so i'm just gonna get him to go and retrieve the ball um and then i might do that two times and then on the, on the third one i'm gonna hide it and i just want to see the dog hunt for it and look for it so this is testing the dog's hunt drive so that was an awesome day of training. Thank you for bringing the dogs here, showing our crew how you do things. Uh, definitely cool. Thank you guys for showing showing us your talents. Yeah, guys, um, thanks for having us, Mitch. Yeah. Um, if you guys are looking for any dog training, um, we train all types of dog, any breed. Um, all We cover all the Hampton Roads area, um, Northern Virginia, and we'll be covering Richmond here soon. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.